So the video that's going to that's going to come after this little introduction here is of me making or modifying a very inexpensive Labler mic to function with my Galaxy S7 uh, Android phone. It should work for other Android phones, iPhones, etc. as long as you have the connector that it you need for it which you can find online. It's a work in progress. I think it's going to turn out pretty good. Uh, the range on the mic, I, I ended up going about you know, 150 feet away from the phone. It picked up perfectly. Uh, you'll see a little bit that it's very hot. Some of this video I started speaking with initially, it didn't turn out real well because I had a problem with one of the connectors that I ordered. So I'm probably going to convert a great deal of this into time-lapse uh, photography or time-lapse whatever because everything I was saying just no longer applied so I, I don't know I'll look at it. you know if you have some comments put them below but keep in mind if you're looking for a cheap uh, Labler microphone I'll give you a picture of the box that this was in um, it, it will work as you will see and I don't think you're gonna find anything cheaper than this right now as long as you can find them matter of fact I'm probably gonna get online and buy a couple more of them for spare parts <clears throat> anyway I hope you enjoy please leave any comments below um, if you come up with any tinkering ideas that might sound interesting let me know I think the next thing I'm going to do uh, that's not forge related will be some shop lighting as in photographic or videography lights I recently found some chip on board uh, LED lights about a dollar a piece each one of them puts out 700 lumens the color temperature is such that it would be good and you could put string these things up into a box and power them and they would make fantastic uh, lights you know that's that's 10,000 lumens per light that's a lot of light that's that's a lot of light and it's uh they're only about you know goodness 12 inches long they're about 12 inches long I don't know if you've seen there's some flashlights you can buy called Big Larry's they've got a they've got like a, a light in them about that long strip that's what these are that I ordered but they're 12 inches long and like I said they were like a dollar a piece I ordered them from China and I got a bunch of them so they're 12 volts each so we'll have a little bit of fun with those two maybe so and once again hope you enjoy leave the comments thanks I'm sorry, I don't have a whole lot of room here. I need to clean up some things in the house. Hopefully you can see this. So number one, here is the connector with the microphone connection, which is a 3.5 millimeter jack and a headphone jack. I'm assuming that this is a monochrome 3.5 millimeter jack. That's probably what this is. Monochrome meaning it has one connection in it for one device, not a right and a left. This is probably your standard stereo headphone jack, which has three barrels on it, I believe. And thus, the one that goes in the phone. All right. So, let's open up this little monster here. Once again, I think I paid like $10 for this. And it does work. So anyway, here we go. Let's put this somewhere useful. <coughs> this would be the headset receiver and the really inexpensive microphone doesn't look like much it does work and it does have a mute online which is kind of nice because if you turn this thing on and off it's going to pop okay let's put him aside i believe this is probably a five or a six volt power connector okay so this one is wow i can't see pardon me while i get something to help assist my eyes in seeing what it is i need to see Okay, that appears to be, oh, 9 volt. It's a 9 volt charger. So, here's one of the cool things we could possibly do. If we wanted this system to be completely portable and we didn't want it to plug it in, which we do, you know, you can buy these things for, you know, 50 cents at yard sales or 3 or $4 dollars somewhere else or just pick one from something else in your house. These barrels, save this exact barrel off something else, cut the cord off, and you know, the amount of voltages this, you could easily take a 9 volt radio, transistor radio battery or whatever they call them nowadays, it would probably power this thing for a very long time, like hours. So if you wanted a portable unit, 
you could do that, plug it in, strap your 9 volt batteries to the side of it, and rock and roll. So it's here, somewhere safe. All right, on the back here, we have a couple of options. We have a standard quarter inch monochrome output microphone jack, which is what we'd use if this was going into a soundboard. The other option we have is an RCA jack monochrome output. We can use either one of these. Now, most importantly on this is we have a volume. This is not really truly a volume. This is more like a line voltage output adjustment. So when we hook this up to our phone, it's going to want to see something very, very small as far as voltage output on a microphone, like less than a volt. If we go over that, we're going to do something called clipping. Um, clipping is where when you have, if I had something to draw with, clipping, oops, I don't really want to, clipping is where someone doesn't know how to draw, your sound wave, which looks a little like that, clipping is where this thing hits the, the, the peaks of the power and you start getting, you start getting sounds that look like a square wave and when you have this it's very distortiony it sounds horrible and I'm sure you've heard some bad recordings where people have turned up their microphones too loud and all you hear is this really terrible horrible noisy sound so we want to avoid doing that so by utilizing this adjustment here, we can turn that down until we get the best sound out of our microphone. Technically, that's what we want to do. Right. So, <coughs> the output. So on the phone, I'm going to use this other phone here just for whatever. So, the other phone will, so per se, we would plug this into this guy. And then we have two choices here. I, I went ahead and purchased a couple of cables that I thought I would use one of. I can use either one of them. This one is more uh, useful than the other right now. This one is a pre-made cable. It's a bit long. Uh, it goes from a 3.5 millimeter monochrome to an RCA. This bad boy will work perfectly. So what we'll do is we will plug that one in right there. We will plug this guy in right there. And technically, that should be all we need to do in order to talk into this, have this receive it, and have it record into the phone. Now, there's another option that I, I, I can utilize, but I don't, I don't have a good cable right now. This is a quarter inch mono to a 3.5 millimeter mono. I can't get it open. Don't you love that? And by the way, these these adapters were like, you know, maybe a dollar or two on Amazon.com. I mean, really, it, it was, they were very cheap, very cheap. But anyway, here you go. So, you have 3.5 millimeter mono to a quarter inch mono jack. So, I have microphone cables back there, but they're like 20 feet long. And they're quarter inch jack to quarter inch jack, something like that. I don't really want to go that route because that's just so much cable, that's just crazy. So what I need to do is get an adapter where I go from quarter inch jack to quarter inch jack, male to male, or I need to purchase another one of these and get uh, quarter inch jack male to, to 3.5 millimeter jack male. And that way I could just plug this guy in here and plug this guy in there, if that makes sense. The other option, I could cut this wire up here and make my own, which that's not a big deal. I do own a soldering iron. But it's just kind of cool, you know, making it on off the parts shelf. That way, if you all see something I did here, you can recreate it at home. Um, just so you know, I think I have seen this microphone on sale on eBay. And I think I have seen them on there for as little as five bucks. So if you want to try to if you want to try this if this works and it works out well you know here's here's the box okay you can look for one of these on eBay or Amazon.com I'm sure they're still out there but don't pay a whole lot of money for it because it's really not worth the money 
Now, if you want to get into a professional system, I looked at professional mics yesterday, and they start at about $250. And the one that I would like to have costs about $350. That's too much money, in my opinion, for this kind of setup. I am not singing for you guys, at least not yet. May play the guitar one day for you. Don't know. But this guy here, the price point on it, if you find it, should be less than 30 bucks. So remember that. Take a look. We'll try it, see what happens. So maybe the next video I'll shoot using that Rappel mic microphone. Let's turn this on. 
So as you can see, it is picking up something. Picking, 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 picking. Up one, two, three, one, two, three. So see this little portion here? That's the background noise. So I'm going to be quiet for a moment and watch. It's never truly silent. I have the uh, volume of this microphone turned down as low as it will go. As you can see, it's clipping regardless. And I'm not speaking directly into the microphone. It's on my collar, as you saw just a moment ago. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this phone here. I'm going to hook the microphone up to that, put on a tripod, and I'll record some video with me talking to this. Okay, so I have this Labler microphone turned up. Watch, I'm going to hit the mute button. Mute, mute, and it still works. All right, this mic is too hot. I'm going to have to reduce the sound output considerably. This is utilizing the homemade cable that I made. Um, so once I get it shielded, it should help it a little bit. And like I said, right now it's too hot. It's probably overloading the amplifier circuit within my phone and it's cutting out. So I'll go back, I'll pick, I've got a resistor somewhere, I'll, I'll grab one. I'll put it in the unit to cut the gain down considerably. Reassemble it and I feel this this is going to work well. But as a test, I'm going to walk in the other room and I'm going to keep talking. So, once upon a time, there was a little dude. He didn't have any money, but he really wanted to be rich. So, he started cutting up a whole bunch of wood into small round things and painting them copper and pretending they were pennies. Then, at some time far, far in the future, he had mountains and mountains of little copper painted pieces of wood. Then the economy crashed and the mayor saw his copper coins and decided hey that's a good currency and made the boy rich and wealthy. So all right once again I have told like 50 stories today and all those tests and each one was different. <laughs> so forgive me. Uh, I'm not a storyteller. Well anyway that's enough for this test. If you have any comments put it down below but you can make your own connector. I recommend just buying a couple of them, the ones that work with your phone. Keep your eye open for the Labler mic that I've got here. It's, it's not a bad one. It's not the best, but it's, it's not a bad one. And it's cheap, you know. Anyway, peace, guys. Hope you liked the video. Take care.